So the wind is actually coming out of southeast right now. It's not exactly south yet, but it will start coming out of the south in like a, uh, a couple of hours, I want to say. That's when it's really going to get nasty. All right, we just got here. The rock's going to be a little slippery. We'll go ahead and start jigging anyways while we can. It's outgoing tide still, actually. Probably the tail end, probably the last hour of the outgoing tide here, and then that water should start coming in soon. You know, sometimes I get them on the out, on the, the outgoing as well, so we're just gonna go down here and try it out anyways. Here we go. Yep, wind is not as bad yet. Oh, it's a good bite. There it is. Ooh, is that a keeper? Feels like he's decent. He's not stripping drag though, he's trying to pull drag, but he might be small. Hard to tell. Hard to tell. The sun's not even up yet, so I can't really see him in the water. Usually you'll be able to see these guys in the shallow. Oh, I snagged something. What whiting looks like. These are good eating too. But we're not keeping any whiting today. Just gonna let this guy go. Send him off his way here. See him. Let's try to get the target species. Snag a uh, whiting. Let's see if we can snag a pompano. There's a fish. Got a fish on, guys. Feels like a, a pompano. Yeah, that's a pompano. Little guy, man. Look at that. Pretty pompano. Pretty small. See ya. Something small. I don't know what it is. It's coming towards me. Oh, it's a flounder. Flounder hit the teaser. Huh. Little guy, though. You know, it's a lot of small flounder here lately. No big ones this year for me. Oh, he's got a little worm on him right there. For sure. Oh yeah. All over. Oh wait, he might be a good one. Might be a good one, I don't know. Oh yeah, that might be a keeper. We're keeping him. He is a keeper. He doesn't look like he's a keeper though. Nah, he's small. He's getting better. Getting better for sure. I hit the actual, uh, the actual jig. That guy's probably like, I want to say 10 inches to the fork. Barely any meat on him. We'll let him go though. See ya. Fish. Feels like he's snagged, man. Definitely snagged something. Oh, I got two jack. I got two pumping out. No way. <laughs> two pumping out and one freaking rig. Oh my gosh. Time to go. We're leaving. That's when you know this spot's got a whole bunch of like small pumping out. Alright, see ya. Just pulling up to the second spot. Um, super windy. It's kind of hard to find a spot that's that's uh, ducked off uh, from the wind, especially south wind. But this is the only spot that's fishable when it's blowing 20 knots. Feels like it's blowing 20 knots. Windfinder says 15 knots, but I'm gonna have to disagree. I mean, it's really really blowing out here hopefully the audio isn't as bad but let's put the camera back on the chest and um, start making a few casts hopefully the flounder are here when i caught that small flounder earlier this morning i was like hmm that kind of gave me an idea of what to target next if the pompano bite uh, stopped 
I mean, the pompano bite were on, but there were a lot of small pompano this morning. So wanted to, you know, switch it up, try to target something different and um, hoping to get something bigger. Looking really good over here. Protected from the wind for sure. Not as bad compared to um, out there earlier. So let's see what happens over here. Ooh. What is that? Good fish. Whew. Smoke that net shrimp, baby. I don't know what kind of fish it is though. Ooh, I saw I saw the flash. Might be a redfish, maybe. Man, he smoked it. Oh, it's a snook. That's not a bad size snook either. Oh yeah. I'll take him all day, man. Not a bad one. Look at that, guys. That's fun to catch. Man, he's he freaking smoked it. <laughs> Went from pompano jigging to weight fishing, catching snook. Not a bad day. Not a bad day. Look at that, got him right on the corner of the mouth. Let me loosen this, uh, open this bail up real quick. Ah, come on. Come here, guy. I will let you go. Come here. There we go. That's why it's nice to have a seven foot rod, man. Good size snook right there. Fun to catch. So cool, man. It's crazy how these guys can get up to be like 40 inches. All right, let's let them go. Let them grow. See ya. Good deal. Feels a little bit heavier than a pinfish. But I don't know what it is yet though. It might be a snag fish. I don't know. It was like subtle, subtle bite. I, it might be a pompano. I'm not seeing color. Yeah, he's running like he's a pompano for sure. Oh yeah. Running like a pompano. Let's see if he'll take off. Oh, that's a pomp for sure. Could this be the first one of 2024? Oh yeah. That's a good one. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, it came off. Oh. <laughs> Damn. I know, it's all right. Man. That hook is a little small. That's okay though. Try to get on more. That's all right. That's fishing, you know? Just lost that fish, like literally at my feet. You know, stuff like that happens when pompano fishing. I'm thinking it's because my hook is a little bit too small. That uh, that teaser hook right there wasn't meant to be. We just keep jigging and uh, try to get on a bigger, bigger fish. I mean, that guy didn't pull drag. He was definitely a keeper. Like I said, probably 14 inches to the fork right there. Pretty decent. What is this? No way. A little pompano. A little pump. <laughs> a little pump chased it. Switched up to the uh, chartreuse and pink teaser. Might be might be too early for the uh, for the big ones to show up. Little guy. Pretty cool though. Let's put him back. No. Thought that bird was gonna eat him. Here we go. Let's try to get a bigger size pump. There we go. Good one. Feels like a better fish right there. Feels like it's pompano. I don't know how big though. A little smaller guy. A little smaller dude. Getting a little bit bigger. <laughs> Not quite a keeper. They gotta be they gotta be 11 inches to the fork. This guy here is small. See ya. Oh yeah. See what these fish would do when you release them if you pay attention. Especially when pompano fishing in this clear water. When you release them, they're gonna go back right where you hook them. So if you hook them right, right there, 
they're gonna swim back over there. They're not gonna swim down there. So I've noticed the sheep's head too. They'll try to go back to the same spot where they were. Pretty interesting. Uh, might be a little small here. About the same size. A lot of little ones. There's gotta be some bigger ones out there though, man. A little pompano action. I mean, the one I hooked earlier was definitely bigger than this guy, way bigger. The one I lost. There's that one there. Litter dude, see it. Oh yeah, that might be a better one there, for sure. That guy, who drag a little bit. I don't know, let's see. It's a whiting. Full of energy. Good size whiting right there. These guys are, are uh, pretty good eating, but we're gonna have to let them go. We're not keeping any whiting today. All right, we're gonna put them back in the water. See ya. Oh, there it is. Way out there. Small, you can, you can feel the head shake on him. Uh, he might be pretty decent, actually. Yeah, he hit it way out there, man. He might be a keeper. Hard to tell. I mean, I've been, been catching a bunch of small ones this morning. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Nice. Well, tangled up. First uh, keeper. Um, let's measure him real quick before we uh, keep him. I mean, he's, he's already slammed on the concrete because we got tangled. I was gonna let him go, but it's all right. We can keep him. He's actually almost 12 inches. We're gonna have to let him go. Try to get bigger one. First keeper, but we're gonna let him go. We're letting this guy go. Try to get a bigger one. See ya. Hopefully the bigger ones start showing up. Ooh, that was a good bite right there. Okay, right there, baby. Good one. That's a good one right there. Just pulled up to this spot here, first pass. For sure, that's a good one. It's cool. Oh yeah! That's a fatty. They are chewing right now, man. Just comes right off. Look at that, guys. Good deal. These guys fight, man, pound for pound. The head shake on them. As soon as you hook them up, it's just, they strip drag. A lot of fun to catch. Something cooler. I can't even grip them. They're so strong. Oh. I get lucky. That current is ripping out here, man. Going to the left, into the little pier right here, the little jetty. So once you hook them up, you gotta try to get them away from that pier. It's a challenge. There it is. Let's even get him out of that pier, though. He's swimming straight toward it. Ah. Oh yeah, he's swimming right. Good one. Good fish right there, man. This is the time of year to target pompano. March and April are like two primary months to get pompano. Man, I am out of breath going up and down this, uh, this little jet, this little, little rocks here. It's yes, a good one right there. We're just gonna put this guy right in the cooler, actually. Oh yeah. Thank you. Alright, here we 
here we go. This should be it right here. Hopefully we whack one right here. Oh, there you go. Good one. Oh yeah, he's stripping drag, man. That's a good one. Let me get this jig out of your way. It's right here. There we go, you're good. Yeah, that's a, look, might be a 19 incher. Oh yeah, that's a big one, dude. Let me get back here just in case. Just in case something happens and I get whipped in the face. That sucks, dude. That's crazy. That was a big one, dude. That is big. That's the biggest one for today. There you go. I think it's a good one. Oh no, he's gonna go to his. Oh no, 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 no. Oh man. I think he's coming out, hopefully. No, I feel him. I feel him. Yeah, he's coming out now. Are yours or mine? Mine came out. Congratulations. <laughs> That's another good one. Oh, yeah. I got him. Nice. nice. Yeah. You How want him? You got his. You gotta pull him. You, you gotta pull him out. <laughs> oh yeah, good one. Got it. Hold my rod. I'm gonna go get him. Are you? Yeah. Okay. Let's help this guy land his fish. You see him? I know him. Yeah. Open the, open the bail. Yeah. There you go. No. Broke it? Yeah. Oh man. That's all right. They're still here. Just got to tie up and uh, jig again. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, <next time>. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Have a good one, officer. So what is this fish? This one here is a Spanish mackerel. Oh, that's good too, right? Yeah. All right. Here we go. Hopefully they're still there. You know, these fish, they move around. Like, they'll stay at that spot for maybe, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes to an hour maybe. And then they'll like move around. So you'll be on them for an hour and then the next couple of hours, nothing. But they're still around. They are still around, that's for sure. Just gotta get them away from that piling though, man. That's the main thing. That pier right here, they love going around that pier. To break you off. They use the current to their advantage and just, you know, turn their side against the current and just go with the current. That's why they fight so hard. That's a pretty decent one right there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Pumped up. Pumped up. Look at that. That right there is uh, Florida Pompano. Comes right off. Oh no. Went back in the water. All right, guys, that's a wrap. We absolutely crushed it this morning, man. So pumped, still pumped till now. It's insane, man. I just love pompano fishing. Does not get old at all, especially the ones we were catching today, um, this morning. I mean, to get on them back to back like that, it's just, it's a blast. Gotta try it out, man. If you guys have not caught pompano before, you might get addicted. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's a long one. Um, first couple of days wasn't that great, but third time's a charm, I guess. Came out here and absolutely crushed it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, hit the like button, hit the bell notification, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.